from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Conga, Connect West 2018. Brought to you by Conga. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're coming to the end of a long day here at the Conga Connect West event. It's at the Thirsty Bear, just a couple doors down from Moscone South. And as you can see behind me, the silent disco has, has, has begun. You can't hear it, but they're all dancing. So we're excited to have our next guest. He's Steve DeMarco, the Chief Revenue Officer of Conga. Steve, great awesome. to see you. Great to be here, Jeff, thanks. So how about your first week of the job, you get to come on theCUBE, not oh, a bad man. deal. It's fantastic. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm a big fan of you guys, and uh, it's great to be here. Thank you, and they're spending all your money on this big I expensive know. party. Go sell something. You better sell something. Yeah, absolutely. So, you just started, I'm teasing you, but you know, what attracted you? You've been in the Valley for a long time, you've yeah. seen a lot of opportunities. What attracted you to Congo? Well, so I've known these guys for a while. I know, you know, Matt Schultz, our CEO, and Bob DeSantis, those guys are veterans. And I've known them for a while. I've known of Conga for a while. I know what they do. I know how they help customers. And when the opportunity came up to join them, I mean, I, I jumped at it. it was, it's kind of my dream job, to be honest with you. Oh, that's you know, awesome. What they sell, uh, helping, helping customers be more productive. Uh, they have a great customer base, fantastic products, great reputation. I mean, I don't want to oversell it, but it was it was a phenomenal, it was an easy decision. Yeah, well, there's me. a lot of good stuff going on. Like yeah. you say, they, they're they're attached to this rocket ship that's yeah. got a 65-story building just down the street. That's right. You know, that's a good one to to attach yeah. to and that's right. And really playing in a good space. Yeah, that's it. I've been in the Salesforce ecosystem and with one company or another for about 13 years now, and so I'm really familiar with with uh, Salesforce and the partner opportunities here. So. Yeah, it was a perfect fit for me. Good. So I want to I want to take it up a notch and talk about something I think is pretty special and underreported, and that's really when you've got a, a, an ongoing relationship and like a SaaS relationship. Right. When you're paying monthly or annually or whatever yeah. your payment rate yeah. is, it's a very different kind of a conversation, customer vendor right. uh, relationship it's than true. if I, I ship you some software, I send it off, and then you know, I'll see you in 12 months for the 15%. Right. Fundamentally different way yeah. of being uh, it you is. Know, kind of associated with a customer. Yeah, well, you know, me, like a lot of other veterans in, in uh, technology, started out selling software products as a perpetual license, right? And we would go and try and get a big check up front, and then whether the customer used the software or not, we didn't care. We got all our money up front. Salesforce was one of the pioneers of the, of the cl cloud solution or delivering it as a SaaS solution. And it really, SaaS really puts the power in the customer's hands. Because you, do, you don't get all that money up front. They pay for it as a subscription. And as such, they can shut you off if they're not happy. Right. That's a very powerful concept. So vendors like Conga have to continuously improve our product and make our customers happy period after period after period in order to keep them renewing. Right. And so it's a great concept, puts the power in the customer's hands, and it really pushes us to be better for our customers. You know, we heard that a story earlier today with one of your customers was talking about a successful implementation they had on the document creation system, but then they wanted to get into a new product, which you guys, I think the contract system was yeah. still early, hadn't yeah. even delivered it. But she said to her boss, hey listen, I trust these guys, they're not going to let me hang. That's right. So I'm willing to take that bet. We need this, and this is a partner that I feel comfortable that's in making right. this investment. I mean, that that Jeff, that's just a, a testament to Conga's place in the market. They've been doing this for many years. They have thousands and thousands of extremely happy customers. Customers trust us. Customers trust Conga. That was another big attraction to me, you know. And so for a customer to be able to. Uh, take that kind of a, 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 a leap with a vendor, it's a very special thing, but Conga's reputation precedes itself, and that's what that's how our customers feel about us. Right, yeah. Well, and also Salesforce knew you were coming, so yeah. they baked a couple of your core products into their core products. That's right. That worked out pretty well. That's huge. Uh, Salesforce, I've, I've known them for now for 12, 15 years, and they don't do that. They do not do that very often. I mean, you can count on you know one hand how many how many uh, uh, partners they've actually baked into their product set, and so it's a special relationship we have with Salesforce. We're proud of it, but it's gonna it's gonna be a really good thing for them and their customers right. working with Conga in that capacity. So, so last question, like I said, I think you've been here a week. You said you're just yeah. getting going. 
So what are some of your priorities? You're coming in, fresh breath of air, you know, a lot oh, of yeah. new enthusiasm. As you look forward, what are some of the stuff that you're itching to get to work on? Well, we are we're going to expand our partnerships with, uh, with our, IS, uh, our SI partners, our systems integrator partners. We're going to continue to work really closely with Salesforce. I mean, it's all about grow. Grow, grow, grow. You know, we have a great sales team today. Uh, we're going to really attack the market. We've got some great competition out there, so we're going to face them, and it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Well, Steve, thanks for taking a few minutes of your time. I'll let you get back I appreciate to the it, customers, Jeff. the party, get some headphones on, and start dancing. All right. Thank Steve, you. Steve, I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE. We're at Conga, great. Connect West at Salesforce. Thanks for watching. See you next time.